Hey guys, we are back live from the HWBOT 2015 Asia, HWBOT World Tour, and here in Taipei, Taiwan. And I'm Truthman from Overflaking TV, and here is our special guest, Adeline from ROG. Hi, Adeline. Hi. Uh, it's been a very long day for uh, for all of us. We have been uh, here for this uh, for this complete event. So far, there is two competitions going on at the same time. There is the ROG OC Showdown from ASUS, as well as some other competitions from the HWBOT World Series. Um, but the focus right now will be the ROG OC Showdown and we switch back to Extreme Addict. Extreme Addict, the guy from uh, Poland that is actually benching live on his uh, system. As you can see, he's uh, benching on 3D Mark. So Adeline, you work for ROG, right? Yep. So yes, what's your, uh, actually what, are, what is your job at uh, ROG? So it's been a year now I'm working for ASUS here in uh, Taiwan, so for the HQ. And I'm in charge of all the overclocking uh, project uh, from HQ side. So our goal is like to push overclocking at the maximum with like the Republic of Gamers. I see, and um, you're here today because uh, there's a lot of overclockers. And uh, why is the, all these uh, overclocking things important for, the, uh, for ASUS? Um, so maybe so the guys watching the live stream so you know it was uh, Computex just uh, last week so Computex is one of the most important uh, IT exhibition uh, in the world and like a lot of overclockers since like many years now join uh, Computex because they have like some overclocking uh, event happening so this year they had the G-Skill um, OC competition uh, booth and some of the overclockers were invited or they were qualified during the competition and also like some of the brands so had their own booth and so this year like last year Azurebot is organizing a, a gathering because they know a lot of overclockers so will be here uh, in Taiwan so it's like the best occasion to have like a gathering with like the, the the most extreme guys uh, worldwide. So yeah, for Asus RG, it was like the was something say, important for you yeah, guys yeah. To, to be here. Actually, it's uh, it's it's funny to to have that because last year it was the first time that HWBOT organized uh, an event here in Taipei, Taiwan, mm. and that was actually the same exact same location. <laughs> Uh, but there was less people because that was the, the first time for the 10 years anniversary uh, last year. <coughs> and, um, and yeah, so the, now it's the stepping up. And you have the, like a complete ROG OC showdown yeah. uh, area that looks uh, quite, uh, quite cool. That's the one you can see. And uh, here, actually, the guys... <laughs> I, I was actually looking at the camera. It's like, mm, that guy is just actually finishing benching. Yep, he's coming back. He just yeah, went back... Uh, he went back just uh, picking up some LN2. And on the other side, I think that uh, XA Extreme Addicts did uh, the same <laughs> the same thing. It's uh, actually I can even say that the screen from XA Extreme Addict is actually crashed it because it froze. <laughs> so <laughs> don't leave your benched uh, bed unattended when you leave for uh, to get some uh, LN2. So um, Adeline, you're at uh, ROG and so on, but uh, you know that we told a lot of the people on the live chats that we have the first. Sample of the 980 Ti Strix. Yep. Is that true? It's true. <laughs> so that's the first batch that is out of the factory, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. because so uh, the 980 Ti, like the reference card from NVIDIA, so was uh, released the first of June, and so we got the chance to to have like the first version of the Strix. So I can show you on the live stream. So that will be the Strix version of of the graphic cards of the 980 Ti. So with like three fan and yeah, with sleek design. The logo, yeah, for the Strix. So the Strix, it's a uh, all. So you have like uh, two times after. the Strix logo and the uh, yeah. Asus logo in the. And after, so here, the Strix logo that will uh, glow uh, once it's on. So once you put the graphic cards in the system, it will have uh, this uh, yeah, light yeah. Uh, red. Yeah. Uh, the red light, and I think also you can have the orange uh, color. For the Strix when you put the, the card on. And one of the new things on the Strix version is like, and that is proper to Asus, it's like the backplate here. So we create this backplate to reinforce the GPU. So like this, you avoid the, the GPU to bend uh, during transportation or even you when you put your graphic cards. 
So, so that's yeah. just a, a system that reinforces the system that is uh, right yeah. outside of the just GPU. Just right the, the GPU, so you can see here the chip and... For, for everyone to understand, the um, <laughs> you can just hold it for me like this. <laughs> so for you guys to understand, uh, on the other side, this doesn't fix the cooler at all, right? Mm. It doesn't fix the cooler. It's just um, a spur uh, fixation device that is around the GPU that just tie it, uh, the tie the GPU between the, the actually the, the around the PCB, and uh, actually this four screw here and all the screws here here. Uh, yeah. There and there are actually for the cooling systems. Yeah. So the back plate here is not for the cooling; it's just to maintain the GPU in place. Yeah. So Don't yeah. forget, guys, we are monitoring the live chat. I know we went a little bit uh, straight to the details with that, and uh, you can ask your questions to Adeline as long as it's related to the ROG, uh, of course, ROG products. And there was actually one question from uh, Chaitan that actually won some of the uh, giveaway we were giving. Uh, yeah. Are you today? Um, where, will there be going uh, ROG chassis? Do you have chassis like cases? Like a case? Like a case? PC case? Uh, a ROG case? Uh, I don't think for the moment we have uh, cases. I think like uh, from um, the Republic of Gamer side, we prefer to to co-work with some companies that are specialized in cases so for example maybe you saw like some pc mod we had during the rg uh, in the rg booth at computex and it's like so this year we co-work with inwin so inwin is doing like a special case and like we got like those special color like black and red so the, the, color the black and RG, RG. Yeah. and after like some of the like more and more we will co-work also with like pc modders and some of them are like very creative and so they can match the colors compared to the hardware they get and so yeah most of the time it's like um, black and red but for example like um, the Strix uh, 980, 980, yeah, 980 GTX 980 one of the guy did the white version so he removed like he redid all the, the cooling by himself to get like the war the, the white uh, version so there was the like a white edition of the Strix yeah <laughs> that's it like a special <laughs> edition made by him and it was pretty cool so this is actually a nice uh, a nice looking card uh, as you can see there's uh, three fans there's some big hype going on because that uh, graphic card is gonna eat a lot uh, there were some people saying on the back uh, on the on the live shot that the back plate looks very nice uh, I can't read it's S X I S G A B A. Uh, actually, I like the the, the Strix logo on it. Yeah. Uh, you have like the uh, the name and so on. And the backlight is actually quite um, nice looking indeed. Uh, as you can see, the cooler is quite big, so it's, there's actually like extension uh, in the in the back. And although the graphic card is actually quite uh, <laughs> quite quite high. So what's this? Is that for the giveaway? Yeah. So that's the, the headset, the Strix uh, DSP uh, gaming headset. So as you see on the for the logo for the Strix, so it's like the two eyes of the old, right? So like the gaming headset is the same, like the so the ears here you can see it's like make the eyes of the old, so it's pretty cool, and it's pretty nice uh, gaming headset. Like uh, for the noise cancellation, it's pretty good. Like you put your headset on and you cannot hear anything around. Is that so, the one you use in the office? Yeah, I use it because it's true. Like sometimes, like you have uh, all the people on the phone, so <laughs> it's very useful to <coughs> like, when you want to focus. So yeah. So that's the headset you uh, you will be giving away right now. Yeah. Um, just wait for the, just wait for the question, guys. <laughs> Just wait for the for the questions for the giveaway because we want you to be sure that you can enter it at the right moment. So um, yeah, let's ask a, let's ask a, a tricky questions. What do you think? Yeah. So or maybe we wait a bit. Do you still have some questions, guys? Because yeah, if, if we do the giveaway, yeah, there will be like way too many uh, people talking. Okay, yeah. so you guys. You know what? We're gonna do that in 10 minutes. Uh, if you have 10 minutes more, we can ask any questions to Adeline. Um, I would have some uh, some questions for you. We saw some of the uh, actually the the same card as this, the the PCB, so the 980 Ti Strix, mm. and some of the guys were actually modifying the power delivery systems to it. Uh, there is like this power delivery card that uh, is existing at Asus, but 
it's not an official product, right? Yeah, because it's more like a R and D. Yeah, it's car still a R and D, like in experimental process. So we are like a first version of like the that what we call power card, and it's like it will give uh, more power to the um, graphic cards. So this it's very useful for like extreme overclockers. If you're just like water cooling overclocker, no need this kind of card. And <laughs> so we are our second version, so our R and D, so Elmore and the TL. They that used to be two overclockers. Yes, they used to actually used compete to in this kind of competitions yeah, in the past. As well. So now they are working for Asus, and like so, they put their engineering um, skills to do this um, power card. And so yeah, right now we are like at the second version of the power card, and I think we will have a third version soon, like to fix the small details. Um, we need to change and maybe after we will sell this kind of product like to the extreme overclockers because we know like a lot of overclockers ask us like hey can I have a power card because I need to mount it on my uh, old uh, graphic card so it's actually crazy to see that all these uh, extreme overclockers to um, modify this kind of stuff I mm. in the past we used to modify the motherboard but then we don't have to do this yeah, yeah. because all the, all the motherboard are like good enough to sustain like yeah. everything we, we want to do so we just modified the graphic card. Um, the, po the first version of the A Power was the uh, A Power card. We called that the A Power, like because that's the, the yeah. easiest name for for but us. But the new one we call it Amp. Amp. Yeah. The Amp, Amp Power, power card. Amp, yeah. power, Amp card. power card. Too much Amp. So, yeah. And uh, in the last few months, since actually the the launch of the GTX Titan X. Uh, there was some limitation in this external device that were not big enough. So actually, I think that the guys in the in the labs in the R and D, Elmore and TL, work hard to to make the new one even bigger and more powerful. Yeah, actually, the, the card itself is almost the same size yeah, as the DGA. Yeah, it's, it's pretty big. Uh, because so we got like some feedback from the extreme overclockers, and we just add like uh, one one piece of the um, like. That's why it's bigger, it's like five centimeters more. It's like to do the soldering. Because you need to, uh, like when you have like the graphic cards here, you need to bend a bit like this, the, the, the power card. So you need to have space between where you solder the, mm -hmm. the card and like, and especially when you do four way. So. <laughs> and sadly, the, the that question got asked before and by the, the current that is going through the wires, there's no way to have just something that can remove and just plug back. It, it's it's nah. too much power in it that will not work. Um, there were some questions on the live chat. Don't forget, guys, we're still monitoring yeah. the live chat and I see uh, what's uh, what's going on. Uh, NVIDIA Forever 2 had the questions. Hi, Adeline, could you give uh, more information about the ROG OC Showdown online competition? So, yes, yeah, so we keep the ROG OC Showdown like, uh, on, on the t shirt. So, it's like our all the overclocking activities, we will try to keep this name, the ROG OC Showdown. Like this, everyone we have in mind. Um, our uh, overclocking activities. So, um, first of all, like it was in January, I think, yeah, we launched the first Our GOC Showdown uh, competition. And it's like, so what we did to be fair to everyone and to give the chance to everyone, we separate the Our GOC Showdown into series. So you have like the Extreme Series and the Formula Series. So Extreme Series is focused like on the, the, the guys that already did overclocking at least once in, in their life and inside the extreme series we split the prices between the elite group so those people usually they are sponsored by company and after we have the extreme series and usually those people they are just like pc enthusiasts but like already very hardcore so but yeah it's like try to be fair to everyone and the formula series is like extreme guys are not allowed in this uh, series. You're not allowed to use sub-zero cooling for that one. Yeah, and the extreme guys, so like uh, if the... Yes. <laughs> Don't forget. <laughs> so yeah, if... if uh, So in formula, if you already touch 2 and 2, you cannot participate to the formula. So it's only air and water cooling guys that can uh, participate to this competition. And so we will have the second run uh, very soon, so starting on the 19th of uh, June. And we will try to make it even easier for the guy to compete. So, like for example, with uh, XTU and uh, GPU Pi. So I think it will be fun. So that's gonna be uh, soon to start. Actually, it's uh, less than uh, yeah, less than days. two weeks. Yeah. 
sorry. It's uh, less than two weeks that, that's going to be starting for the Formula One. Uh, actually, the round two of the Extreme Series is already over. Yeah. And we had uh, Dan Cobb finishing first of this uh, competition. Yeah. As, uh, then followed by Extrematic that is actually benching live right now. And we had a good load of <laughs> French guys, Strat, with their T's, with their young, and DX Pro Pico, yeah. and so on. So um, all these guys um, are, are benching in that. So you have the ROG OC showdown live, like yeah. here now. And yeah. you have the ROG OC showdown online, online for the Extreme yeah. and the Formula. So don't worry, guys. Even if you're just on water cooling, you can still compete on the Formula series. It's okay to... Um, you know, go in that one. You don't need to have liquid nitrogen for the Formula Formula series. Yeah. It's uh, it's okay. And yeah, it's good for you guys to to participate, even if you're not in the top uh, ranking. So the Formula One, we have like prizes for the top five, but we still have like some giveaway where we give away so some T-shirt and like some other product from our partners, um, Inamax and Hyperx. So just join, participate, have fun, and. That's it. Do overclocking. Keep pushing it. <laughs> keep, keep pushing it. That's that's, uh, that's a huge model in the in the overclocking world. Um, I do actually. It's not related to overclocking directly, but the ROG OC showdown design and the design on the on the on the t-shirt too. I really like it. It's really good. Yeah, I really like also like I don't know if you saw guys, but like the overclockers one. It's like even if you're like. LN2 or water cooling is like if it's for you so everyone can do overclocking that's uh, very important yeah, yeah. Uh, most of the product from ASUS all will come with factory overclock products mm. and of course you have the warranty and, like and everything have, with it yeah and we have like some special software like a GPU tweak for example that can help you to to do overclocking very safely so that, there was a few questions from uh, Van Bud in Europe uh, will there be mm. any special gra graphics card for LN2? Uh, that's, I guess that's going to be mostly the Matrix series. Uh, yeah, usually like the Matrix series, it's the most able to do LN2. But even the Strix, like, yeah, <laughs> let me talk to you about this. The, stri <laughs> the Strix version of the 980 Ti will have uh, the defrost, the memory defrost option on it. So that's what uh, a feature that was only on the Matrix and the I don't know if the Poseidon, Poseidon, maybe. But yeah, Strix, the 980 Ti Strix, we have this option. So the Strix version is very, you can do LN2, it's no problem. Actually, for the people that don't know what the memory defroster is, I'm, I think we can yeah, just you can show, show the videos. One of the video that's yeah. here. So for the overclockers, it's very useful because in like it will help to have like, to not have too much water. <laughs> dropping everywhere. So the uh, defroster is just uh, an extra feature for the extreme overclocker uh, because if yeah. you are using uh, water cooling that uh, will not be uh, used like yeah. this and you're saying that uh, the Strix will also get it? That's going to be only one product or the complete line? Uh, I don't know yet. We know like the 980 Ti has this option and it's like the first the first time they add these uh, features on the Strix product. So let's see the other graphic cards that will come soon and be able to bench so, yeah. with it. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> so it's actually funny to see the uh, the, the mod the just push the little buttons. Yeah. This video looks really cool. It's yeah. really well done. So here is just to show usually like if you have the memory defrost on so this all this ice doesn't happen. So it was just here to show like if you plug the the, the, the memory defroster it will just like melt. So if you have it on, this ice, all this ice will not... Uh, so if I plug the defroster and I just switch on the systems, yeah, yeah. the ice will never be on there. No. So that's quite interesting so that's for all the, the guys yeah. doing extreme overclocking, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because like this, you're sure to not get the card uh, wet. And like, you know, like for extreme overclockers, the, the worst enemy is like water and condensation. So that's a very good feature. And I heard like some very good feedback some from the guys. So. That, that's cool. And uh, if we go back to what is going on a little bit more here today, uh, we are seeing right now on the screen 8 pipe, uh, 4 way of GTX Titan X. Yes. And, and they do have the modification for the power, although on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have all the, the card, uh, the power card mount on them. So. 
that's interesting to see the, the kind of score that we'll be able to yeah. produce with that. Uh, so far, if we go and look a little bit back to the ROG OC showdown area, we can see uh, Extreme Addict as is at his bench. At bench bed or at bench Yeah, bench right post, yeah. Bench uh, <coughs> he's still in the BIOS, uh, not quite sure about what settings is uh, changing so far. I think it's just uh, trying to uh, increase the, um, the the CPU a little bit, and yeah. then this will be benching with the 980 Ti streaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Adeline, let's take uh, the last few questions, and then we may be able yeah. to uh, to go for the giveaway. So guys, don't forget, we are always monitoring the live chat. If you have any questions, just ask us. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's the tricky questions from uh, OZ1925. If Asus support the overclockers, why removing the it things void the warranty? So yeah, like, you know, doing like extreme overclocking, it, it's a big risk, right? And like, I think in the, in the warranty, paper you can see like if you remove it and like you do like some extreme stuff the warranty will not work anymore because you will do some modification it's like if you buy your laptop for example usually you, you're not able to open it if not you will void the warranty it's to be sure you didn't make made any modification and that is it's your fault if like if something happened it's your fault uh, that's maybe your car die or you have a defect so yeah that's why but Extreme uh, overclockers are aware of that, so it's a risk, but it's a patient, and stagers are very careful with the hardware. Um, and it takes so a lot of uh, it takes a lot of issues to actually kill the hardware by itself. It's mm. uh, even actually when you do have the modification like the guys are having, it's it's crazy. Yeah. It's actually uh, a bit insane on how they do it, but it's still uh, quite okay for that. There was a question about the card, uh, the 980 Ti Strix. Um, it's a, sp a special design PCB, and uh, the cooler is a special one, of course. The backplate is a special one. Yeah. So this is not the reference design with just a cooler on it. Actually, you can find that out because here, the, the, the PCB can look. It's actually higher than it was uh, supposed to be on the 980 yeah. reference design. Um, what's also special about that car? Because that's the one we always want to talk about. Because I might be one of the uh, only few to be able to touch that car. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty new. It's not out yet. So, like we we, we exposed the first version at uh, at Computex and and yeah, it's but it's very cool. I think a lot of people will like it. And like for PC models or even for overclockers, the, the car looks very good. So. I will see what what the card can do, but I think yeah, in the future it will be good results. Uh, do you have more information about the defroster? There were some people asking if uh, that will be shocking the GPU, but actually I think if I understood it correctly, the the defroster works inside the PCB or something. Yeah, like because it's a, it's a memory defroster, right? So I think it's only around. It's um, it's not behind the GPU for sure. Yeah, it's like I think it's all around the. The GPU. Um, <coughs> Sorry. After yeah, on the internet, if you go on the product page, you can find more information about the about the card. Mm. <coughs> I'm getting a bit a, a bit sick here. Too much LN2. <laughs> There's a lot of guys from a lot of different countries, but so far the high point of the the journey here is eight pack and Roman benching the four way of GTX Titan X. Adeline. Let's go do the uh, special giveaway. So, what will be the giveaway and what will be the question? So the giveaway will be a, a Strix a DSP gaming headset. So that's one of the so the Strix uh, product line for like accessor gaming accessories. So it is a very good headset, like for noise cancellation and like if you want to be quiet in your headset it's it's good and also you have like a, um, a monitoring to help like to to, uh, to set up all the, the the sound and like the different like which equalizer you want to be on so yeah it's pretty cool so we are giving away this headset so what is the question if so you want to uh, to win this headset so the question is <laughs> 
be prepared guys that would be the fastest to reply that would want the headset so how many fans does the asus gtx 980 ti strix have so how many fans are on the uh, graphic card mm. i think uh you guys oh wait 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 Start again, guys. Start again. <clears throat> the the few first one like Van Butt, Mada Ellen, Dark Killer, uh, Wuvine, Batulum, and Lolly Lunch. Please retype your uh, raffle. Uh, it didn't went through the first time. <clears throat> Just be sure type it two or three times. <laughs> you you guys were a bit too fast. <laughs> so. Um, what other Strix product? The, the Strix, do you have like the graphic card? You have, you know, have the uh, the headsets. Yeah, uh, we have. Is that gonna extend? Graphic a cards. Bit more? Uh, so we have like a sound card, and so we have mouse pad, mouse. Um, what else do we have? Let me think. <laughs> <laughs> Few hours of sleep, and we can't remember. Yeah, no, I think in the in the future, like uh, we do more and more uh, Strix product because so it's for like uh, mainstream gamers, and yeah, we know like ga gamers need like different kind of uh, accessories for the gaming experience, right? So we do also keyboards, so like everything you need to to game um, actually. So it's pretty cool. I really like and like for the the orange color, it looks very nice too. So. Yeah. Even the uh, the eyes of the whole. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, it's looking nicely. Yeah. Unleash your gaming instinct. Unleash your gaming instinct. <laughs> that that's like an advertisement. <laughs> it is. It's our slogan for the streets. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> that explains a lot. Yes. That explains a lot. So guys, well, yeah. we are keep still having the giveaway open. Don't forget if you uh, want to uh, win this uh, super super duper strict DSP gaming headset you have to answer the following questions how many fans does the Asus GTX 980 Ti Strix ah I think you guys saw it um, quite a lot during the weekend so let's make sure that uh, you guys got it right <coughs> and we will be able to uh, choose which one does that Adeline this is a quite nice price. Um, what do you think about giving away an extra t-shirt and an extra cap? Yeah. So one person gonna win the headset. We're gonna choose someone else after that with the right answer with the, for a t-shirt. Yeah. And then once again someone else for the uh, with the uh, ROG cap. It's a bit too big for me. But yeah. <laughs> Let's keep it like this. <laughs> yeah, I, I will just make sure just for that. It's too big. <laughs> Here we go. It's going to be a homie. <laughs> so you, so the first one to get the, the first answer on the live chat uh, in the raffle, the first one will get this strict DSP gaming headset. Uh, looks like you guys really want that one. Uh, then we're gonna have a shirt, exactly the same shirt as Adeline is actually wearing. Not exactly that one, but the same, the same design one with the overclocker in the back. And uh, the third person will have this kind of headset. So don't forget guys, if you want to win that one of these one, you have to answer the following questions. How many fans does the Asus GTX 980 Ti Strix have? I think it's uh, about right now. We should maybe close the, the raffle because we don't want yeah. we don't want too many people to just come over and just <laughs> grab everything. Oh yeah, it's open to everyone, so Soon 30 seconds left. Closed. left. Sorry, this. <laughs> Of course, there is no uh, warranty on the. Uh, yeah, there's no on warranty the, on, the, on those products. Uh, on those products. Because yeah. they come from Taiwan, so because we will ship it to to internationals. So. Sorry about that, but 
that, it's that's the good only way. Product, so <laughs> no, no need to no need, RMA, no need or, RMA. Yeah. It's more like a, a legal thing. Is um, if we want to be able to like on the overclocking TV side, if we want to do, be able to do worldwide giveaway, uh, dealing with the warranty is just too complicated to mm. to do it. So we prefer having that open to everyone rather than say, oh sorry guys, from this list of 90 countries you cannot participate. Nice. Yeah. It, it's better to just you know make sure that everyone can get it. So it's almost the end of the raffle. Yeah. So I think it's the last call. You ready to end up the raffle? Yeah, I see a lot of very good answers, so that's good. And it's closed now. So, <coughs> so what was the right answer to the questions? How many One, fun two, does? three. <laughs> So, so the answer yeah. was three, right? Yeah, so everyone got a good answer. <laughs> they so are following the live stream, so that's a good <laughs> thing. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> so let's see who is the first person to win. We're going to have to validate that the message is the right one. The message, three fans, and it's Transmitter Niven. So congratulations, man. You just won uh, this... Uh, Strix, I would Strix. say the man in each yes, yeah. Strix, uh, no, no, sadly nice, that's not right? the card. <laughs> <laughs> so you just won the Strix DSP gaming asset right there. Congratulations, man. You won this one. I will send you a private message right after uh, for all the information and details that we're going to have to um, get from you. And the other questions we say we're gonna say uh, one t-shirt and one uh, cap mm -hmm. so now we're gonna find out who is for the t-shirt and the winner is Benny Benny congratulations where is Benny <laughs> so Benny you won the t-shirt <laughs> Double N, double yeah. Y. Yeah, and right now we want to for the cap. <laughs> for the cap. Who is winning the cap? <laughs> Drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> With the right answer of three fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, why you have so complicated nickname? <laughs> Bye. Uh, by 12. By 12. <laughs> by 12. <laughs> and by 12, you won an ROG cap. cap. So, congratulations, guys. We will be sending you a PM in the next few minutes just to uh, be sure that we get the right information for shipping and so on. Um, Adeline, you, are you going to stay around the event for the complete day? So this might be until tonight and actually yes. tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, maybe all night again. I was like up all night until 8 a.m. this morning. So that's why maybe I look a bit tired. <laughs> but it's okay, you so, don't travel that much because you live here in Taiwan. Yeah, I live here in Taiwan. But still, like it was a rough week with Computex. So. But yeah, it's a nice event. So we really enjoy to be here. That's Perfect. the most important. Perfect. That's the, that's a good to to have you uh, you guys as a partner of this yeah. event as well as uh, some other partners uh, that uh, we can see right in the background of us: Seasonic, uh, HyperX, uh, Asus and ROG, of course, yeah. and Intel and Team Master. Thank you, Adeline. Thank you for yeah, your time. Thanks. We uh, I did enjoy that. I think most of the guys enjoy. Uh, going on for that giveaway there was a lot of uh, congrats on the live chat uh, if you guys still have any questions for uh, asus and rog in general you can always ask them on the chat i'm not quite sure you can answer all of them but uh, as Aline is uh, sticking around for the today and tomorrow maybe we can uh, some sometimes just ask her a little bit more question about all that yeah sure thank you very much yeah thanks and thanks guys for watching keep pushing it Try overclocking, <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> Here we do extreme overclocking, but you can do at your own level and it's very fun, so just try it out. And Most importantly, yeah. keep pushing it. Keep pushing it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>